Hi, my name's Jim Moyle, and we're here to talk about AppAttach and Remote App and how to correctly permission them. So we can see that we've got four uh, AppAttach apps uh, currently in uh, my environment. Um, all four of these are um, MSIX apps published by uh, Microsoft. You can tell that because the package full name has this string at the end of it which is the hash of the Microsoft code signing certificate so that string means it's definitely from Microsoft and we can see that it's consistent across all four of these um, applications. Um, another interesting thing about the applications that we have here is uh, sysinternals is the only one where if we go into the properties um, we can see that there are many applications, as you no doubt know from uh, sysinternals. Um, in fact, 73 different applications contained within this one uh, MSIX package. So how do we make these available to um, our uh, users on a per user basis via remote app? So let's move to our um, remote app host pool. And we're gonna to go to the application group in this remote app host pool. Notice that there is only one, and it's called All App Attached Apps. I don't have a desktop app group. I don't have any separate app groups for separate applications. Within this app group, I've got one assignment, which is all users. So effectively, everybody can um, uh, access this application group. And I've got two applications in here. Now what the user sees in uh, their feed, in uh, which remote access that they can access, is governed by permissions on the individual AppAttach applications, rather than the permissions on the application group. So if I add a new app from the uh, new AppAttach app, let's do uh, sysinternals, and we'll take Process Explorer. I uh, found an icon for it, and we'll add that as a remote app. And um, let's add something else. From sysinternals, let's add PROC1, Process Monitor. We found an icon for that as well. So now we've got two applications from within, from within one single package. Uh, let's just do the fourth architect application we have which is the new version of Outlook. Now we don't, we haven't automatically found an icon here, so I'm gonna grow up uh, a UNC path. I could browse Azure files for it, it is in fact on Azure files. but I happen to have the UNC path handy. So we've now got five remote apps from um, four app attached packages. Let's go back to our packages. So if we have a look for our users for Outlook, that is everybody. For PowerShell, that is a single user. For sysinternals, it's the admin tools. And for Microsoft Teams, it's everybody. Now, user one and user two are in different groups. So we'll hopefully see in their, their feeds, uh, just showing them in uh, list view. And we can see for user two, we have all uh, applications. So let's change users to user one. 
and we can see that they only have the two apps which they are allowed to have. So remember they're all in the same remote app application group. This means that when you use AppAttach for your remote apps you can absolutely um, remove uh, as many application groups and simplify your environment from, um, from using AppAttach. Um, thank you. If you like this video, hit like. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. If you want to know about a particular functional feature of AppAttach, then let me know in the comments. Thanks.